Let's light the good doctor on fire, man. Happy birthday, Mr. Twizzy. Hey, Elemental. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Twizzy. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> what do I do? Can I put it back on the cannon? No, I can't. How do I switch stickers? I don't know. I don't know. Whoops, what did I do? <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot to read her mind. What a little super glue, a shaved dog, and a lot of patience can do. Glue! Here we go. Finally. Right. I'm thinking glue for the trampoline. Because I forgot. I forgot to read her mind and I just remembered. And there's the legs. Wait a second. Your legs are tinier than mine. You've been faking this for years, Gigator. Library school, here I come. Oh, our wrestling slash bullying careers. There's an opening. Oh, perfect. Legs out of nowhere. This will definitely be all I need in my eternal afterlife. Goodbye, sweetie. I loved you more than I love even magic itself. Which is too bad because if I studied magic harder, you wouldn't have died. Okay. I'm glad that's done. So, handsome, how long do you think it will <laughs> wow. get back into dating? Oh, I don't know, a few minutes? Well, that'd be quite the trick. Now I take this, yoink, and I give it to the doctor. I still don't know what the teeth's for. The lobotomy guy. Dad, it's me. I, I just wanted to talk to you to make peace about how you love lobotomies, and I love treating people without cutting into their skulls. Son, I, I, I have a mind to lobotomize you right here. You've been losing <laughs> this argument for years, and now even when I'm dead, you drag me back so you can get one last word in. All the selfish, self-interested, totally deserving of a lobotomy actions to do! Oh, here we go. Huh, his mouth is so happy! And another thing, son. I... I 
love you. Even though we have different approaches, we're both on the same team. We just don't want to see people be sad. You're doing good, son, and I'm proud of you. You know that, right? I do now, Dad. That's my cue. You'll be good, boy. Hooray! At last, an emotional breakthrough. Closure. Huh? What? What happened? What did I miss? I talked to my dad. He's a ghost, and we talked, and we worked things out. I can go back to work now. Thank you. <laughs> what? Ghosts? Oh, that's crazy talk. You're crazy. What? No, I'm not crazy. He was a vision from beyond the grave. I'm not crazy. Next. I, I guess that's me. Excellent, excellent. Oh, we're going to get dragged into an asylum. And tell me all about how whatever your issue is makes you feel. Oh, well, I've got this giant spaghetti arm that comes out of my head and only I can see it oh but it, but it lets me read people's minds telepathy huh <laughs> that definitely sounds crazy oh but before I give you my diagnosis uh, there's one thing I'd like to try follow the pendulum you are getting sleepy you are about to tell me all your secrets. No. They leave me. Wow. I can't believe he fell asleep from that. Silently judging. We're gonna silently judge people from now on. Hey, what are you doing? Judging here? you. This is my hypnotically induced fantasy land. Don't worry. Just behave as you normally would, knowing that I am always with you, watching and <laughs> silently judging. Ah, sweet. Someone made a fun house based on my life? Well, as the world's foremost authority <laughs> on me, I gotta check this out. Oh, sorry, kiddo, but you gotta be five foot nine and 190.2 pounds to enter this ride. That's what I am. That's actually my exact weight and height. I don't think so, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> He's with me. Well, I like how this is about his world. But she's like, nah. I'm definitely not wearing like a piece of your head. Remember, silently watching, silently judging. Welcome to Ray's Fun House. To ensure your continued sanity, please refrain from smoking, eating, or wrestling the animatronic people on this ride. They will bite. <laughs> they will back by. They will bite back. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, are you just going to sit here? I thought you were going to be silent. I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. <laughs> well, I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. Oops. Ah, oh, these were happy times. I never remembered the pie fight, though. And how does that make you feel? Uh, okay. Oh, I can read their mind. Sweet. Well, this is a waste of a perfect. <laughs> oh no! I dropped my thingy. Hold on. Excuse me. 
Pardon me. Come through. Okay. Alright. Drop my mix amp. bottom 20s I wonder what the top ones are Oh my god, he spotted me. I like how he did a little drat. Now this guy got back up. You, I'm for the follow. Wait, am I real? Wait, is anything real? Huh? Where's my copy of Descartes when you need it? Herself, I'm in this memory. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> You've got to give me something. Here it comes. My first kiss. I'm finally going to find out what all the fuss about pushing through sets of lips together is all about. <laughs> Here it comes. My first kiss. I'm finally going to find out what makes it so much better than holding hands, which I already enjoy quite a lot. <laughs> Don't say magnetic. Oh, but I never got to kiss her. Oh, by the time I got down from the crane, she moved on to Boris. Indeed. Now, you know that this was a bad idea whenever you have braces and you're standing, or you're not standing, you're sitting right under a magnetic thing. Uh, the three of us played video games together each week for a long time. I'm glad they're happy. Ray. If you're not going to obsess about this until it eats you up inside, then we're both going to be here for a really long time. MLG status. Yeah, breaking things is my thing. I break objects, I break video games. Mostly, break video games. Not in the way that you think. It's mainly I break them internally. We jump. Okay, maybe not there. That's not a creepy, son. <laughs> What's going on in this scene? Hey, this is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the date wasn't going well up to this point. So I tried to impress.